I want to do glass everywhere, so <laughs> let's make the whole thing out of ice. Hi, I'm Joe Greskovich. I'm a residential designer in LA. My favorite part about my job is just meeting and talking to clients about, you know, what their visions are. It's just fun to put myself in their shoes and kind of feel what they're feeling and, and really just help bringing their sort of vision to reality. I used to game a lot in middle school in a way when I work in the computer. I like to think of it like it's a, a video game. Let's do it. Let's design this thing. So I'm choosing the uh, world I want to build in and I think I want a beach. This is its own island. That's pretty impressive. I think I'm gonna go there. So before I start thinking about what to put where or whatever. Um, I'm just trying to understand how the site is laid out and how to take advantage of the actual um, experience of the site. So what I wanna do is create areas where there's sort of comfort and uh, seclusion and privacy, and then other areas where it almost feels like you're outside. I'm just gonna start with the simple idea of um, privacy on this side and openness on this side. All right, so let's say that this is, you're going on your little boat to your property, so this would be the entrance area. So I wanna create some kind of like entrance uh, vestibule, if you will. For the strategy of this home, let's say that first floor is strictly um, communal space, bedrooms, and other program will be upstairs with, with the views and a balcony. So I can imagine those are all open and you're by the beach. Um, so it'd be cool maybe to have a kitchen located near that area. I guess a garage doesn't make much sense here because there's no way of driving a car in and out of the land. This could be bedrooms, this could be a giant outside deck. Let's see, I'm gonna just start with maybe dividing this kind of evenly. So it'd be nice to get some stairs maybe in here. That way there's this long corridor, you can enter each bedroom. Looks like a door that you'd bring a boat into. Let's see. I want like a uh, like a giant, like a simple low profile. Or I could build like a parapet wall and just make it glass, I guess. Let's see if I could do that. Let's say it's a three bedroom and there's one master bedroom and two guest bedrooms. And the master bedroom has its own bath and the guest bedroom share a bath. So that way these are kind of smaller rooms and this is the master bedroom. It's sort of larger um, and has more views. and then I'll build a bathroom probably back, we'll say on this wall, so it'll create noise privacy from the other bedroom. I just wanna drop a bed. There's a lot of nifty beds in here. I kinda want something simple. I have kind of rules and ideas of things that I want to do, but it's typical to explore and find things out during the process and, you know, allowing like the unique circumstances of either the client or the site to kind of help you uh, create something unique. It'd be kind of cool to put in like a glass 
like roof or something in the in the boathouse. I want to do glass everywhere, so <laughs> let's make the whole thing out of ice. Let's just open the garage, sort of, because I guess it doesn't really need to be an interior space. So we'll just assume that that's like boat storage and it's like open to the sky. It'd be cool to maybe wrap it up with like some kind of trellis or some kind of cool thing off of this like party area up here. Could be like a rooftop bar. And then this would be cool if you could make it into like a rooftop garden. Sometimes it's happy accidents and stuff. You're playing around with things and you, you know, come across something that you like. Oh, I think I found the garden. Look at that. There's literally a garden tool. That's actually really nice. I like that. Let's do a skylight uh, over the kitchen because I think it'd kind of be cool to have like this garden, patio, skylight, kind of communal space. That way the communal spaces are all kind of connected visually. Um, so you kind of just understand how it works. Okay, I like that these like interior walls are white and that the exterior are this like uh, cast in place concrete. Maybe if they have like a fan with a light. That's weird when you select fan, there's like one fan without a light. I guess you could go crazy in this program with lighting. The level of detail is actually pretty cool. And I'm not sure like how much space there is right there. Like that looks really tight. But we're just gonna assume that that's like four feet. That's four feet, people. I think I'm pretty cool with it. I'm doing a little walkthrough tour here of what we've designed. So you're going kind of from the island and I'd imagine you'd come over on a boat to this little docking station here, park your boat here, and then this is kind of the entryway, which I think if I had more time, I would have added another entry from the boat storage here into this like under the stair kind of space. Maybe this is like a giant pivot door that kind of pivots one way. I kind of like the idea of this being like a solid wall over here because, um, you know, it could just be entertainment space. You could have space for full height shelving. And then as you kind of approach this area, you could have this kind of really large dining area here. So we're going up the stairs. I kind of like this as a happy accident. I don't think I meant to do that, but I think having a skylight over the stair and over this is kind of really nice. Um, it really signifies like an entryway. And then uh, the bedrooms, yeah, you have the, the shared bath. As you kind of travel down, you can look out to your right and then you have this awesome kind of skylight, patio, you know, tree area, which could be really cool. You could have like barbecues up here, parties, wine, all that kind of stuff back in the master bedroom. So hopefully the master bedroom, yeah, like I assume has the best views in the entire house, which I think is important. You wanna please the people who are flipping the bill. So, <laughs> um, and also it's like their kind of dream and their vision. So um, yeah, I'm really pleased with these kind of views. I think altogether I like what happened here. Designing is playing. And if this is a tool that can help you play, then I think it is a tool that's gonna make you a better designer.